how many devices does it take to teach? <laughs> okay, I am very lucky because I have the advantage of having a student who is in my district who uses a Chromebook and so I can kind of see what they can see in Flipgrid. So here is my daughter's um, Chromebook and I have invited her to come to my Flipgrid. And according to my Flipgrid rules and regulations, I have them log in. They have to actually log in. So that's what's happening here with her email. Now here's my topic. And I'm just going to take a quick recording so then I can also show you what it looks like on the back end. So this is what it looks like for students. They have their peers available to them. And then if I hit the plus button, I can record. You're probably going to see me holding up the camera. <laughs> yep, there it is. <laughs> All right. And I'll just record quickly. Testing this out so that we can see what it looks like for students as well as for teachers. Okay, next, and of course they have to take, um, or they can watch the video again. And then a quick selfie. Awesome, great selfie. Okay, moving on, when it says completed, or it asks for the name, and then it should say complete with a little celebration, great. So um, I have it set to where students will be able to see it right away. I don't have to respond first or give it a okay in order to be submitted. When I go back to email, Flipgrid has sent me an email and this is important. Um, when I click here, we are going to see that I have a couple of different um, messages here. First, it tells me, yes, indeed, you have submitted something. Do you want to view the grid, which means go to look at everybody's work, which is awesome. Or do you want to manage the flip, your my flip grid? Now, this part's extremely important because this is where we're going to get the information that we are going to need. So let's go over to the teacher side for a minute. And I'm gonna go down here to the one that was just submitted. Going down here, I noticed that I actually have two submissions. You can see the little green ring around. That means that it's a new submission. So I'll click on the face, watch the video. Testing this out. And then you have a couple of different options. And these are the options that I have been using. If you want, you can create a rubric and grade it that way or you can add some feedback writing it here and once the feedback is there it's there it's you know you can type in even a couple of words and then look down here it says feedback is saved awesome or you can email that feedback and that means that it goes directly to the student as long as it doesn't go into their spam and it also remains here so in both places but what i've been playing around with is doing a quick video recording okay again we'll just do this all right, that was excellent. Good job, student. Something, something like that. Next, next, smile, taking a picture. Ooh, good one, wow, okay, excellent. Uh, wow, can't stop looking at that, that's great. Okay, completed, and right up here, so that we can see. this is where I can see that that feedback has been given. Okay, well, let's go back to the student version. Uh, so students weren't knowing that I even responded or they don't know um, what has, you know, that I had added anything because nothing new is over here. Nothing came into the inbox. But again, that initial email that we got, so I'm just gonna go there. Uh, Team Flipgrid sends me something saying you've uploaded something manage at my Flipgrid brings me right here. Now you can go into any of the Flipgrids that you've been invited to, or if we look down here, maybe I have to, oh no, I have it. So you can see that this is the submission that I just recorded. There's one view, which means I looked at it, you know, or someone looked at it. And then 
feedback is right here. So if you want to see the feedback that was provided, that's just me. This out so that, we can... that feedback is just me and the student when you they go into my Flipgrid. So I'm going to do a second recording, but this is kind of the teacher recording. I'm going to do a, a recording for students as well. But there we go. For the student version, um, go ahead and click on this video and you will see the student version. And then this other link over here is going to bring you to just my tech tips in general on my uh, YouTube page. So feel free to check them both out.